Hey guys, I just wanted to record a quick video to help you guys with page 107 in your GoMath book. So if you pause this video and take a second to get out your GoMath book and turn to page 107, we're going to do a couple problems together on dividing using partial quotients. So we're going to look at number one first. On number one, that we are dividing 648 by 18. So the first question we are going to ask ourselves is how many times does 18 go into 6? 18 is bigger than 6, so we need to move to the next digit. Next, we're going to ask ourselves how many times does 18 go into 64? We do not know our 18s off the top of our head, so we need to guess and check on the side. So I'm going to just guess maybe 18 goes into 64 um, twice. I'm just going to check that. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 2 is 1 plus 2 is 3. So I think that I might can get closer than 36 to 64. So I'm going to try 18 times 3. 3 times 8 is 24. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So... 54 is looking like as close as I can get. Because if I tried 18 times 4, then that would go over 64. So 3 works. So I like to rewrite my problem because I write big. Okay, 18, we were talking about 64. So that 3 is going to go above the 4. Because we were talking about the number 64, and 4 is the last digit in 64. So 3 times 18, if we remember our does, McDonald's, serve, cheese, burgers, we divided, now we multiply. 3 times 18, we said was 54. Now I'm going to subtract, then I'm going to check, is 10 smaller than 18? It is. Then I'm going to bring down my 8. Then I'm going to go through that process again. So. How many times does 18 go into 108? I do not know my 18's up to 108. We do not expect you to know your 18's up to 108. So we're going to guess and check again. Um, what about 18 times 8? I'm just guessing. Okay, I'm, just, I'm picking out a random number to try that I think might get me close. Um, without going over, but we'll see what happens. So 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 1 is 8, plus that 6 is 14. Boom. That's way too big. I need to try again. Um, I think if even if I go down to 7, that might not be enough. So I'm going to go down to 6 and see what happens. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 1 is 8. Or 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So um, 6 worked. So now my 6 is just going to follow behind the next digit. Once I place the first digit, the rest of them just follow behind above the next number. So 6 times 18 was 108 minus, I get 0, so I have no remainder. If I wanted to check my answer, I would do 36 times 18, and I should get... 648 if I multiply correctly. Now let's look at number two. Um, number two is as big as these problems get. Um, Two-digit divisors into four-digit dividends. That's our, our goal. This is what we want to get really good at. This is what we're probably going to see on our EOG. Um, but it is the same exact process. It is one extra step. So we can do this. If we look at number two, first thing you're going to ask yourself is how many times does 62 go into 3? 62 is a lot bigger than 3, so we move over a digit. How many times does 62 go into 31? 62 is bigger than 31, so we're going to move over another digit. How many times does 62 go into 318? We do not expect you to know your 62s, so let's try that out on the side. 62 times, hmm, I need to think of a number that might get me close. So I'm going to use some mental math to help me do that. Let's try, let's pretend that, let's treat that 62 like a 60 for just a second. If I skip count by 60s and try to get close to 318, that will give me a better idea of what number I should choose 
um, to multiply. So if I say, you know, 60, 120, 180 is three, uh, 240 is four, 300 is 60 times five. I think I want to try five because I think that will get me somewhere in the ballpark of 318. So let's try five. Five times two is 10. Five times six is 30 plus one is 31. So 310 is pretty close. I don't think I can go over. I cannot go up one more to six because that would be over 318 and we cannot go over. Okay. So I like to rewrite my problem. I'm going to rewrite it right here so I can write big. Make sure when you're recopying problems in, you copy them right, because it's very frustrating to get in the middle of the problem and realize you wrote it down wrong. So five is what worked, and we were talking about the number 318. So I'm going to write my five right above the eight. And we said that five times 62 was 310. That's a zero. So I'm going to subtract. So I get eight. Oh, oh yeah, eight. And then one minus one is zero. Then there we go. So bringing down this six. Okay. 62. How many times did it go into 86? Well, once because one times 62 is 62. And that's pretty close. That's too close to 86. If I went a second time, that would be over 120. So I need to stop there. Put my one. 1 times 62 is 62 minus, um, that is 4, this is 2. Okay, 24 is not bigger than 62, so we're good on the check part. Do we have anything else to bring down? No, we do not. So 24 is my remainder. Now, most some people might have the question of, well, 24 is a really big remainder. It's okay, as long as your remainder is not bigger than your divisor, or not bigger than the 62, then we are okay. Let's double check our answer just to make sure, okay? And um, this will help you know if you have the correct answers or if you do not. I highly suggest using this on the test. I mean, you can literally check all of your answers before you turn your test in. You can know whether you made 100 or not before you even push submit. So that is one of the perks of long division. If I multiply this 51 times 62, 51 times 62, whoa, my pen is really off on the right side of my, my board. I can't recalibrate it because we've got new laptops that do not match the dimensions of our boards. So let me try that down right here. 62 times 50. One. So one times two is two. One times six is six. I drop down a line. I put my zero because I'm moving over a digit. So now I'm talking about the five. Five times two is 10. Five times six is 30 plus one is 31. I'm going to add two plus zero is two. Six plus zero is six. And I have one, three. Now I'm going to add the remainder. You always just add the remainder. So that is six, eight, one, three. Is that the same as what we had? Yes, it is. So I know 110% that that answer is correct. So we highly recommend using an extra sheet of paper for these questions because obviously they take up a lot of space. And if you're like me and you write big, they can almost take up the whole page. Um, so just do your best. Shoot us questions whenever you guys have questions. We will have a Google Meet on Wednesday that um, can definitely help with these. So please bring any questions that you have to the Google Meet and we will answer them. Um, or if you have questions, you can just shoot us an email and say, I, you know, I really need help on this and we will get back to you as quick as we can. All right. Bye guys.